I've been called dumb once or twice in my life. Let's go! <laughs> wow, we looking crispy today, Lamb. Hey, extra crispy. I've been out in the sun getting crispy. Let's go! We're looking crispy, chat. Yeah. Mm, mm. What do we got going on here? Let's welcome in some folks. <laughs> I'm so excited for today, man. I love these freaking podcasts. <laughs> All right, I'm bringing down the music because I want to... What is going on? Oh, we got Squirrel in the building. Oh, my God. We got so many people in here today. Welcome in, everybody. I'm Nick. I'm Kevin. We are Snug Stories. Welcome in. Welcome in, guys. This is our uh, second episode back after a massive hiatus. Let me go ahead and welcome in everybody, everybody. We're going to give some air horns out for everybody that is here and that is present. Uh, if you are present, go ahead and raise your hand just so I don't miss you in the back. I'm here. Thank you, Lamb. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> All right. How many times we got to tell you? <laughs> How many times we got to tell you? The audience is rowdy today, and I, to be honest with you, I like that. Woo, woo, woo! All right. I think, I think that's Arsenio Hall saying. I don't think we can take that. Oh, my bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. we got to come up with our own thing. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead. Woo, woo. And not woo, woo, woo. Oh, we'll be like, woo. Nailed Slow it. Slow it down. Let's go ahead. Queen, you were first. You get the air horn. <laughs> Welcome in, Rand. Appreciate you being here. We got Chronic in the building. We got Mimi. Let's go. And we got my man Squirrel in the building. Let's go, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, if you guys have not been a part of the show before. Why not? What the hell have you been doing? Um, we are going to rattle off some interesting and quirky news stories for you guys. Um, we have a wild collection of today. Everything from uh, the Supernatural uh, to stories that sound made up. We are going to have some games today. Some stories might be made up. Some might be made up very well. We have a little quiz for you guys. Uh, uh, Lamb has conducted a or put together a quiz I am very excited for. Did a lot of research. Yep, you did some research. Yep, probably yep, took yep. you 10 minutes. Don't lie to me. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, sometimes 10 minutes is a lot of time. That's right. We're going to probably go for an hour today. We have a lot of good stuff to get to. Um, as always, I love, love, love your guys' input. If you guys have something funny to say, have a question about the story, uh, just want to throw something out there. If you have another fact about the story, please participate as much as possible, and we will read uh, come, some comments. The good ones. On, yeah, the good ones. <laughs> The good comments as we, we, we got a we got a filter. Uh, Mombod, Mombod in the building. Oh my god, I haven't seen Mombod in so long. Let's go. <laughs> Sorry guys, she has a first by her name because she literally here was here almost from the very first day from we the started jump from the jump. All right, let's go ahead and get off to a start. She's at work and stuck in its dead. So why don't you put us up on the TV? And get some customers in there. Tell People going to see us yeah. and come on in. Tell your folks that you got a podcast and they need to watch. <laughs> All right. Uh, me and Lamb both have our sparkling V8 energy drinks. We're ready to roll. Let's go ahead. All right. So, look. I'm, <laughs> yeah, you're sponsored by Tobo Chico. I mm -hmm. am sponsored by V8 sparkling energy drinks. If you guys don't know, this is a true story. Lamb does not drink coffee in the morning. So, right over there by the mini fridge, every two weeks, <laughs> Amazon delivers 20 V8s. <laughs> so, that is his go-to in the morning. Not judging. Just explaining. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and start off with our positive story of the week. I'm going to be honest with you. Setting the scene for this positive story seems like we're not being positive, yeah. but I, I would hope that the person involved in the story would see it as positive. He would see it as positive. Yeah, I, I think know so. he would. I know the guy. Um, Lamb, go ahead and drop a story and uh, make it succinct. <laughs> All right. So there was a gentleman. He's been paralyzed through uh, ALS. Uh, he has what is called locked in state, where his brain fully functions, but his body does not do anything. And uh, scientists were able to insert two. Uh, plates into his brain and he's able to use certain things within his brain to control the plates and through that communicate. Okay. Uh, they similar said, to Stephen Hawking? Yes, very similar to Stephen Hawking. They said it takes about four to five minutes to make one letter. So it's quite a process. Oh my God. Okay. So That's cool. horrifying. Yeah. Uh -huh. So his first thing that he said after working... This is right after this? After, after, after this the, and taught him how to do it and all okay. this stuff. Okay. Um, he said, I want a beer. That's the first thing he said. Yeah. God, I have so much respect for this guy. Uh, I love the fact that, like I said, look, man, I understand the story is a little sad, but I love the fact that the first words out of this guy's mouth show two things. One, he still has a sense of humor, yep. which I absolutely love. <laughs> uh, two, uh, that he wants a beer. It's like, hey, look, I can't move a whole lot. I can't move at all, but I still enjoy the taste of a beer. I actually love that. Lamb, let me ask you. Also apparently requested a head massage and an order of curry. God, this guy's awesome. <laughs> what would you? Okay, so if you you're sitting there, you can't move. They put a little uh, they put a little typewriter in your head. <laughs> yeah, beer is pretty good. Beer is pretty good. <sighs> Ice cream's probably up there. Ice cream's probably up there. I might say something like, "Get the hell out of the way! You're blocking the screen." Something like that. 
<laughs> I might panic and be like, yo, clear my search history. <laughs> Yes, Lamb. Yes, <laughs> clear the search history. Let's go. All right. That's, that story would circulate with a fire that you've never seen. If that guy's first words were like, clear the search history, people would be like, what? Anonymous would be out there like, yo, we got you, bro. Yeah, I know. Yes, we would. All right, let's go ahead. I know. I felt that in my soul, too. I love it. I just love that. I don't know. I th- we thought it was kind of positive. We both had a chuckle about it, and I'm sure this guy wanted us to share that story. All right, let's go on to something that I want to get a little argumentative about with you guys. Uh, I am an Eric Church fan. I mostly listen to hip hop and rap music. I don't even know the man. I couldn't name one song if you paid me a million dollars. That being said, I do think Eric Church is the next next Garth Brooks. I think he's a wonderful country artist. He has wonderful lyrics. That being said, he is a massive, massive, massive UNC University of North Carolina Tar Heels fan basketball. Born in North Carolina. Born in North Carolina. If you're not familiar with college basketball, they have a very, very heated rivalry with Duke. Uh, these people, these two schools, legitimately battle and hate each other. Um, so, in the Final Four this year, uh, in the uh, NCAA bracket, 64 team start. We are down, down to four. North Carolina is now going to face Duke. Uh, in the Final Four, and even though they play each other all the time, maybe a couple historic times a year. Historic matchups. Historic matchups all the time. They have never done it in the Final Four. So Eric Church canceled his concert in which he was going to have for his fans uh, so that he could be at this game. I was curious if you guys were offended or if you uh, totally support Eric Church's right he, to cancel his concert. He also didn't say he was going to it, though. Oh. He just said he wanted to watch it. I just assume. I assume. Right. I assume yeah. he's gonna be there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I assume he was too. Uh, I don't know why. So he wrote a letter to his fans. He said this might be the most selfish thing that he's ever done. I love that. That's the angle he immediately yeah. jumped with it. Uh, can we read the letter? So I thought the letter was kind of nice. So this Saturday, my family and I are going to stand together to cheer on the Tar Heels. Uh, as a lifelong Carolina basketball fan, I've watched Carolina and Duke battle over the years. But to have them match up in the Final Four for the first time in the history of the tournament is a sports enthusiast's dream. Uh, this is also the most selfish thing I've ever asked uh, the choir to do, to give up your Saturday night plans with us so I can have this moment with my family and sports community. Uh, so... I'm asking you guys, you have a problem with it? Lamb, let me ask you, do you have a problem with it? No, but I have a better solution to it. Okay, I'm I'm interested in listening. Still has the concert. Mm -hmm. Live streams the the actual game, watches it with the fans, then puts on a concert afterwards. Ooh, I don't have a problem with that, except for the fact if North Carolina loses, he's not going to want to put on a concert. (laughs) <laughs> true hey true i will say yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, but i hear you i like the idea um <laughs> uh his choice not his fans at least that's what i think uh i say this everybody that every job you ever work has going to give you sick time yeah. you're allowed to take a day off uh i know a ton of people not me but a lot of people have used their sick days to go golfing or do something fun it, it, sick, sick, sick is, days aren't for being sick. Sick is relative, yeah. right? Uh, so sick of work. <laughs> he's taking a sick day. Something has come up. I would. Um, I think we've talked about this a lot. I'm an experienced person. You know, if somebody gives me a gift, I would rather somebody take me somewhere cool and do something cool uh, rather than get me something expensive. This is something that he will maybe in his lifetime never be able to see again. Uh, totally support his right to do it. I think it's very, very cool. This is one of those things that in life you can, if you're rich... You can do almost anything. Yeah, agreed. He's rich enough to basically do anything all the time. But this is something he can't control with money. Correct. And I think it's for him. It's like he... So it's just... It's a thing that he ha- wants to do. And that he can't, like, recreate this, like, next week. No, agreed. And I would imagine just the way he wrote the letter, it seems like he's probably never done something like this before. Yeah. Uh, and I do know that... I mean, we've actually, in the last couple of years, we've heard with the COVID and something like that, we've, he- we've heard artists cancel concerts. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he, I, I, if he wasn't actually planning on going to the game... Mm-hmm. He could have just said he's not feeling well. Right, 100%. He could have said, I'm sick, and then stayed home, and then maybe people found out yeah. that that's why he did it, and he would catch backlash. I think this way he get, uh, gets no backlash. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and jump on to my favorite story of the week, by a landslide. Uh, no, not by a landslide. There's so many good stories. But this one is my the story. That, nope, oh, that's not the story. No. That's okay. Let's do that one. I didn't have it written down. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Let's do that one. Uh, not this story is not my favorite, but this is a good story. This is just a feel-gooder. Uh, Lan, go ahead and tell my little feel-gooder. <laughs> so, apparently middle school was in a bit of a panic. Didn't mm-hmm. have uh, full kitchen staff mm-hmm. to cook. Right. So, what did they do? 
what any normal middle school would do. Get on the radio. <laughs> get on the horn. Start calling people for help. Yep, okay. Who do you turn to when yep. you need help in the kitchen? Professional chefs. <laughs> yeah. Well, Gordon the- Ramsay himself. So he, yeah, so a local school was in trouble. They literally didn't have anybody to cook food for the kids. They called the radio station. The radio station put out a plea. Can somebody help this school make food? Gordon Ramsay shows up. I would have loved to. First off, let me, two questions. First off, do you think he made exactly what they were planning on making? I, I would assume uh, so it. because of ingredients. Damn it. I don't think he rolled up with his own truck full of ingredients, but he was on the radio. He was oh. being interviewed. Oh, I So they called that. into the interview and were like, hey, you want to do Gordo? You want to do us a, a solid? I just love that story. Uh, <laughs> the weekend canceled his own tour when I bought tickets with my homie. Oh, really? All good. Got your money, Max. See, was it? Okay, but what did he cancel it for? I'm curious, Coral. What did he cancel for? So I love this story. I love the fact that Gordon Ramsay took probably an hour, two hours a day to go make some food for the kids. Mm-hmm. I guarantee he was probably. I was getting my other question was going to be: Do you think he was offended when he got there and saw the ingredients? I'm that, sure. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen the? There's a. There was a show with Jamie Oliver uh, where he was trying to get kids to eat healthier. I don't think I've seen it. I don't know. Well, he <laughs> there's this one scene where he shows him how chicken nuggets are made from like the processed things, and he shows him the whole thing, and then he goes, "Who wants to eat this?" And all the kids are like, "Me!" Uh, no, <laughs> every kid, no, no kid fun. cared at all. That's hilarious. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah give, we don't give a damn. Shaped like a dinosaur. I'll eat it. Same thing for the pizza. When yeah. you were in when you were in school and they were rolling out the pizza line, if you walked the pizza line, I I I'm sure it is the most grotesque like formula in order to put this thing together yeah. but i love it i don't care i'm sure i probably like it right now <laughs> shout out to gordon ramsay all right let's go ahead now and now your favorite my story. favorite story he had to get canceled for covid reasons oh okay so that kind of sucks says. but see i'm saying this guy going to like his favorite sports team i think that's a better reason that's just me personally what the hell do especially I owning up to it yeah yeah being honest about it okay go ahead what you got this later? one this one this uh yes this is my favorite story of the week all right. just i just get so wound up every time you bring it up So oh. I'll read the title read because the title. I don't know if you're going to be able to do it with a straight face. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through even you explaining the story without getting all pissed off. So a receipt for... In- I'm already upset. <laughs> yeah, there's a receipt. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Who's keeping paperwork? Who's keeping receipts? Okay, go ahead. Uh, for invisible art could fetch half a million dollars at auction. Okay, so I'm going to botch some of these details so Lamb interject uh, yeah, if that's I'll possible. Pop in when, as yeah, needed. As needed. Okay, so... Back in the, I believe, 70s? Uh, yeah, he started in the 50s, but mostly in the 60s and 70s. Mostly in the 60s and 70s, there was an artist. Uh, his name was Yevis Klein, Vez Klein, I, I would imagine, something like that. Uh, he uh, decided that he was going to come up with a uh, an idea for art, and it was going to be um, invisible art. So he had a uh, a showroom, a, a, an art studio, when she invited people in into what he called a conceptual space. There was no art, but he told everybody that the art was there and that if they wanted, they could purchase said art. Did I fuck anything up? So far, so good. Okay. So, guy, (laughs) I'm I'm literally trying to get the story without getting pissed off, and I'm actually getting pissed off. Okay, so (laughs) this guy says, everybody come in. I got all this art in the room. You can't see it. You're going to love it. Now, here's the thing. When you buy said invisible art, there was a tradition. He's going to give you a receipt. Which which boggles my mind. The, the, the actual thing you're buying you can't see, but the receipt is totally tangible. So he gives you a receipt, but the tradition was when you got the receipt, you were supposed to set it on fire. In some sort of ritual format. Correct. Yes. Ritual format. That way there's no proof of anything. That way it's just gone. Now, to me, I am 100% convinced that he did this to save his own ass. Yeah. My personal belief. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll be like, yo, well, where's the receipt? Well, you told me to burn it. Yes, yeah, I'm yeah, sure I did. Yeah, sure I did, right? Yeah. So one person did not burn it. They kept it. That receipt is now going up for sale for $550,000, excuse me, yeah. for the receipt for invisible art that was never tangible in the first place. Did I mess anything up? No, but he also was willing to accept a certain amount of pure gold in return for the art instead of money. <laughs> Which I'm sure that he was okay. He was not okay if that was... But that was good. tangible. That was very, very, very tangible. Very tangible. Um, they said it's very rare to have one of these receipts, but ap- I thought apparently... About, I thought you were about to say it's very rare to have a piece of his art. <laughs> apparently that's not very rare. 
to have a, what? apparently a lot of people purchase this invisible art. Okay. I have so They don't because of the the paperwork, they don't have an exact number. See like But they said it is a okay, lot of people. That makes me want to just reach out in the air and hand you a piece of art. Like yeah. now you have art on your head. The, the receipt for this one is for uh, zones of immaterial pictorial sensibility. And where is my Wilhelm scream? <laughs> um now my, there is a line in here. Um, that made me chuckle heartily. I have, ah, yes. Here we go. Sotheby's also confirmed in a press release that the successful bidder will not be uh, become the uh, custodian of this historic, not only become, I'm assuming, the custodian of this historic receipt, but also of Klein's invisible work of art as well. Oh, okay. So, so you get the art, oh, too. Oh, okay. See, I actually didn't know that part of the story. So yeah, but way more reasonable. But that's, yeah, that's the whole story changes now. So and, and now, not only am I buying the receipt for the invisible art, I'm receiving the invisible art. Yeah, you now are the sole proprietor of this invisible art. All right, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me quarterback here. You walk in, right? You're, it's 1976. You walk in, it's an it's a room. There's nothing on the wall. There's just there's just horrible wallpaper. And he says <laughs> sorry. Which one do you like? <laughs> or does he does he create the art for you which one on the favorite? spot? God, I hope not. That would be almost more. He's offensive. like, tell me about yourself and I'll create an artwork for you. Okay, that would be more offensive. To me, I don't know why him. <laughs> Fake doodling at home for some reason. At I'll, least I'll get my, back. It's going to be about two to three weeks, I can and least, I'll get back to you with your with your. I can at least suspend this belief with the <laughs> with the, with the him doing it at home. So okay, so I walk in terrible terrible wallpaper. Yep. I say he says which one's your favorite? I said obviously this one over here. Right, this is really beautiful. I love the, what you've done with this one. Very interesting. He says, would you like to buy it? Right. My big question, and this shouldn't be the only question I have, but my only real question is, does he pantomime handing you the art? See, now this is what I just popped into my head. Because he's French. Maybe he has a bunch of mimes working in the <laughs> art studio. Don't you think that would be the story? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying, and they're the dis they're display they're oh, like oh, they're oh, like, they're and like then they give you the they're Vanna Whiting. Yeah, it? They're yeah. Like, okay, yeah, they're Vanna Whiting the art. <laughs> I'm curious. Okay, so let me ask you. So yeah, he comes. So I come in. I, I ask to buy it. Do, do uh, realistically, do you think that he pretends to hand you something? Other than the receipt, no. You don't think he hands it to you? I think it's all conceptual space. So, so you like, just you, you give him yeah, you give you, him a thousand dollars you just walk out with a receipt. Yeah, I was, I I have to assume. I I, I do you, are you more pissed if I go like this to you? <laughs> I'm pissed either way. <laughs> or I go thank you. Have a good day. Enjoy your art. The, the second one. <laughs> I'm much more furious with the second one. You didn't even do anything. You didn't even hand me anything. You can't. Even, Okay, look, like people are selling farts in jars, right? Like people are literally, people are literally farting in a jar and giving it to you. Now, do you have any proof that said hot girl farted in a jar? No, she, there's not a video of that. That would be disgusting. So when you get the jar, if you open it. You get it, the NFT of the, right, the video. If you open the jar and you smell said fart and you don't smell it, what are you going to do? Are you going to like sue them and say, hey, you didn't fart in here. I don't even smell anything. And she's like, yeah, it's just how I fart. My farts are very, very, very fresh. They're very clean. This to me, like. You know how like we have like we're like overpopulated as a planet. If you bought invisible art, I think you just need to be pushed off a cliff. Somewhere. I agree, <laughs> but I think the guy selling the invisible art needs a raise because this guy is scheming and scamming at a level. The audacity, yeah, it's so high. It, 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 <laughs> it's so audacious to, to 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 say, you know what? Like I I wonder if he pitched it to somebody first. He's like, watch what I'm gonna do. All right. All right, okay. You know what? I had, I thought I only had one question. I just want to know if you like here it is, and you're like I don't feel it. And you're like it's there. You got it. That was my only real question. My other question is, like a Miss Cleo thing. Does he believe it? Take I a second. Th I th yeah, I think he does. You th okay? So you? Think I think he is. His art is like the idea that art can be anything, and it can be in your mind, and it can. Like, he did say, like, they did say one of his things was he just 
<laughs> the Lion, the Witch, and the Destiny of this bitch. <laughs> they, uh, that he had a exhibit or an exhibition uh, where he just put a cabinet in an empty room. And people walked in and he was just like, there's art in there. Okay, somebody said how much does it cost? Did you, did you, did it does not say what the original purchase doesn't was. doesn't say what the original purpose was, Mimi, but I said, but one of the details that was really important was that people, he was uh, accepting gold, uh, pieces of gold as payment. Yeah, so, so it's it's not an, a small sum. No, no, no. It wasn't like here's this five dollar invisible no, art. No, no, yeah. It was not Enjoy. Yeah, no, no. He you were you were you were paying a hefty sum if you wanted it. Um Yeah, I guess I guess okay, another question. Now, do you think do you think a really famous person could do this today? Yeah, I do. I hundred percent do. I, I think that there are people that are so that they would could sell basically the ex- experience of meeting them slash receiving a receipt for their supposed invisible art. I think some people are so zealous about the celebrity that they look up to and care about that if that celebrity said, I painted an invisible painting, they're like birds waiting with their mouth open and they say, yeah, you know what? I believe her. Like or Kim Kardashian him. or somebody yeah, that has like I believe him or her and I'm going I'm 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 to I'm I'm buy it. Kendall Jenner or whatever. Another question though. The guy that painted the invisible art, did he sit at home and work on said invisible art? He was he was a hard working man. I'm saying, do you think he was yeah, at he was home like, mm-hmm. like 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 with his hand? Was he doing it? <laughs> I'm just picturing you know, like the um, So say like um, like uh, Oculus. Uh-huh. You know how they have like a painting app in yeah. there? Yeah. So you paint in that and you create something. Yeah. Does it really exist? Yeah, I think it does. Because uh, you, I mean, in, in somewhere, uh, in some form, in some world, you can see it. But I'm saying, like, so what? Like, right? What does it actually, actually exist? exist? <sighs> see, but I actually would uh, see. I think I would say yes because I think that's the same as me, like a digital drawing, or like something a, well, on an I, iPad. Or I was something? gonna say, let's say, like, let's say, like, I go in and start Minecraft and I build like a massive castle. Does it exist? And yeah, I mean, people yeah. can see it, right? Like, I think if you can see it, then it exists. Does it exist, like, in 3D? No, but does it, you know, can you touch it? No, but does it exist as people can see it? That's why I have a problem with this, because you can't see it. All right, let's move on. Uh, uh, okay, let's move ahead. Okay, so let's move on. I love that story. I actually just love it. I just want to know if I can talk to my landlord and then I can pay rent in invisible money. It's there. You can trust me. <laughs> you can trust me. Maybe we can sell the landlord invisible art. May- we'll, we'll do some invisible murals around the property. Oh, I do like that. Well, yeah, I'm going to pitch somebody invisible art one of these days. All right. Uh, let's go into a story that's going to lead us into a game. Uh, Lamb, go ahead and drop it on us, baby. Our boy, Pink, yep. Pink Floyd. My main man, Pink Floyd. He's been on the run. <laughs> they finally caught up with him. <laughs> this story is so stupid. <laughs> He's been on the run since 2005. Okay, Pink Floyd is a flamingo, by the way, if you could not see that on the screen. Pink Floyd is a flamingo. He was in a zoo, a Kansas zoo, and 17 years ago, he escaped the zoo. Apparently during some sort of storm. Some sort of storm. Now, earlier this month, somebody caught a glimpse of him in Texas. Yeah, they said he's returned from the dark side of the moon. Okay, stop. That's literally in the article. Oh, okay. <laughs> literally right in the article. <laughs> I was going to give it to you. All right. Uh, so, so said flamingo is on the run. How many miles is that? That seems like a hell of a distance. Gotta be close to a thousand. This, oh my, this, okay, first off, that's gotta be, that's gotta be years to travel that far. Yeah. Two, how do they know it's that flamingo? I don't know. Apparently he's also known as number 492. Yeah. He went hard. He did. Yo, Popper, what's up, baby? Welcome in, baby. Welcome in. Yo, Popper, I'm gonna give you the damn, that's snug, baby. Damn, that's snug. Yo, hey, Iron Shadow, I think, likes your, uh, likes your dark side of the moon there. What's up, Iron Shadow? Welcome in. We got a Bengals fan in the house, dude. What? No. Uh, all right. So, this, what are you looking at? I'm trying to, how they figured out who it was. Yeah. was. Okay. I love the fact that this thing's on the run. If uh, that's the way they word it, like as if like he was like a wanted, like he was like he had like killed another flamingo while he was at the zoo, <laughs> and then like he got <laughs> yeah. out. You know? Oh man, that flamingo! Oh, yeah, he's, he's bad news. He's bad news. He's on the run, dude. Yeah, he, we haven't seen him in a very long time. So my thing when so we, me and Lamb were talking about maybe a tag on it. I thought the same thing. Uh, maybe yeah, maybe they do like brand it in some way. So I said to Lamb though when I heard the story, seventeen years he's been on the run. I know. Me and Lamb both have the same story. We 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 uh, we sit together and we kind of go through all the stories that we think are interesting, and then we you know, we kind of chop it up. 
me and him both kind of the same reaction. I was like, bro, I'm almost more surprised that this flamingo lived 17 years. Most people's dogs don't even live like 13 years or 14 years. This flamingo on the run. Like, on the wild in America, not even its natural habitat. Yeah, like on the 101 freeway, just like balling up and down, like <laughs> like lived for 20 years. I Like I have a million questions. I didn't know the bird lived that long. I don't know how he survived that long. I So I said to Lamb, how long do flamingos live, right? I don't know. Like I want to know how long they live. So Lamb decided he was going to give me a quick quiz, and you guys, I'm going to go main screen. Yeah, we'll start with we'll start with this one. We'll start with flamingo. All right. So how Lamb's long do you think, on average, mm -hmm. flamingos live? So we're talking not like you know obviously predators and stuff like that. Like on average, mm -hmm. good life. How long do they live? Okay. Well, I know nothing about nothing. Obviously, at least 17 years. Obviously, 17 years. I assume they had them for a while because they gave him a name. So I assume they had him maybe five or six years before that. Probably. So he had at least 25 years old. I imagine that he's made it this far, which also tells me that he's probably in the peak of his life, right? Because you wouldn't if you was an old flamingo. Well, he's made it. He made it down to, you know, his right. retirement village down in Houston. <laughs> he didn't make it to Florida, though, you know? Like, yeah, he did. You know, he did. Southern tip of Flo okay. Houston, you okay, know? Okay, maybe he kind of did. I'm going to say they live long. I'm going to say they live, like, 40 years. 40, 45 years. Something like that. What do we got? A seven to eight? How could they live seven? How could they live seven to eight years if he's been on the run 17 years, squirrel? That tells me you're not listening to the story. We're giving squirrel. you clues. 30 years, 30 years. Uh, my dog's at 16. All right, well, 30 years, 30 years. We got two 30 bombs. Well, they would be correct. They dead thirty. Yeah, thirty is the average. Wow. Okay, so this thing ran for half his life. Yeah. Wow. What a fugitive. What a badass. <laughs> Got you, squirrel. Caught you not listening, buddy. Can somebody go ahead and just time out, squirrel? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Some have been known to live up to fifty years. Okay. Yeah. All right. Can I get? Oh, let, let me let, for the next one. Within three years. Is that fair? Yeah, I give you. I give you that. Three beers. Yeah, I give you that. It's in the article. Does it really say that? In the yeah, article? it did. Oh, right. that's why. Yeah, it was in the article. He spotted that. Yeah, you spotted that. That's why I like Shadow. This. I Shadow. I like you paying attention. Me too, Shadow. You've been promoted. Yeah. Uh, to uh, Snug Stories <laughs> yes. Sergeant. No, I was thinking Snug Stories like research assistant. All right, there you go. There you go, dude. Uh, yeah, I didn't even know it was on the screen. Uh, all right, give me another one. All right, here you go. Let's go with. Had it on the screen. <laughs> Sorry. Kangaroo. They seem violent, right? Yep, yep. You kicked in the head. I think they're fighting each other a lot. It tells me they don't live very long. <laughs> they got a lot of anger. They got just... Yeah, I think they're I think he's I think a kangaroo's done by like I I'm gonna go short. I'm gonna go twenty five years. Alright. I'm gonna go twenty five years. Hey, I'm just I'm just jonesing with these squirrel. I can do whatever you want, man. I know. You, all I, right, so kangaroos. I, I love Apex, man. Like, I'd probably yeah. be watching Apex if I wasn't on here too. All right, kangaroos. I'm gonna go 25 years. I think you get knocked out. I think they punch each other too much. That's what I think. I can't prove it. Out there, Mike Tyson each other. I just, do. I think so. I think I think you got the kangaroos at uh, 25 years. What do you uh, What do you got? 40 years. 40 years, eh? All right. What do you got? Well, let me give you, give it to me. The actual answer is six. What? Is that? what? <laughs> yeah. You guys, did you just see that? What? What? Yeah. That is, that is, I saw that. Going that's crazy, dude. I, you know, I was right, shocked. Can I at least say that I was on to something? <laughs> yeah. This is violent. <laughs> Queen goes six to eight all of a sudden, real late. <laughs> Sneaking it in there. Yay. 24, I would say 25 as well. I actually am stunned. I'm going to be completely honest. Yeah. How do they even get that size before six years? They come out it of the womb at like five running. foot five. But they come out and they're in the pouch too. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, you got, that's some rapid growth right there. See, they're too violent, dude. They keep kicking each other in the head. Yeah. CTE, dude. They're going yeah. down. Okay, go ahead. All right. Uh, parrot. I swear that I've heard parrots live like a hundred years. <laughs> and I, I don't know if that's like a, like, you know how like every horrible joke has like a parrot, you know? Uh, so I swear that like the parrots live like a hundred years. So I'm going to, but I think that's way exaggerated. So I'm going to cut it a little bit down. I'm going to go 70 I'm going to go 75 years. Excuse me, six. They can live up to 25 in capa uh, captivity? Interesting. Yeah, we're not 30, looking. We're looking in the wild. Wild parrots. Yeah, wild parrots. Wild. <laughs> no, wild uh, kangaroos. Oh, wild kangaroos. Yeah, out in captivity is out. Not in captivity is dangerous, queen. That's where they're out there boxing yeah. each other. Yo, backlog, what's up? <laughs>
All right, go ahead. All right, so parrots, you went 75? I went 75. They got 30, 50. We got 60. We got 50. Everybody thinks everybody's with me on this old parrot. Yeah, g- generally parrots. There are different ones. 80. Wow, we were close on that. Okay, okay. So don't buy a parrot because you're going to be passing it down to your grandkids. Yeah, all right. I'm, I'm missing there. 80 years? That is I'm so- not committing to 80 years of a birdcage. I don't know why. I, I said guess 75, and for some reason, I'm still surprised. <laughs> like, they live longer than we do? Yeah. Like, we... We have like access to technology healthcare. and healthcare and <laughs> like cards. But we also have access to McDonald's yeah, yeah. and Burger King. Okay, go ahead. Next one. Um, <laughs> I hate birds. All right. Uh, let's go with the old ro- rough eye rockfish. The old rockfish. The old rockfish. Okay. Rough so eye I, rockfish. I know zero about fish, but I do know they made it through, like, you know, extinction. They've been around for a while. They made it through extinction, so I think they're tough. Uh, I, I got, I have no idea, but I'd imagine they could bust it up down there. So I'm going to say like 30, 40 years, 40 years, 40 years, 40 years is your thought. Rough eye rockfish. <laughs> Why are you yeah. looking at me like I'm crazy? The old, <laughs> a thousand, a thousand years. Yeah, if it's a thousand, I'm walking off this set. <laughs> if it's a thousand, I'm hundred, walking, 110, uh, 110, over a hundred. Somebody go 120. We got one, 120. 120. We got 120. We got one. We got, we got, we got 100. We give me 110. We got 110. Give me 120. 120. Yeah, people playing prices right over here. Yeah, I like 120, it. 120, 120, 40, we, got, we, got, we got 130. 130. 130. Hey, we got 100. Okay. Wow. Everybody's right at the. Man, I'm way short. Okay. Can I change my answer based on chat? If Am you I want. Like, all right. Mom chat. by going 140. Okay. Mom by with 140. Backlog with 100 biddies. That's his guess. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, we'd like everybody's guesses in bits. Yes, please. correct. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's snug. That is very snuggy, you backlog. Thank you, thank you, thank you, buddy. Love you, buddy. You changing your answer? Yeah, I'm going. I'm, I'm immediately jumping in a lot. I'm going to go to seventy now. Seventy? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Two hundred plus. God damn it! What? <laughs> yeah. Two <laughs> hundred? Yeah. That means they got fish that have been there since like we basically like George Washington could have fished for the same fish. <laughs> All right, let me, I'm going to ask you a question. Let's say I catch a fish. Uh, what is it, a Tasmanian rockfish? or what uh, It's a rough-eye rockfish. Way off. They said they have them in the Pacific right out. Like, right so out I catch there. one of these uh, rockfishes mm-hmm. at 30 years old, mm-hmm. and then you catch one at 180. Mm-hmm. Difference in taste? Yeah. Well, yeah, there's different. There's more rings. Like, you cut them in half, there's more it's rings. not a log. <laughs> <laughs> You're not chopping down a tree. We don't cut your open arm open. There's not going to be rings in there, I don't think. That's yeah, all the time in the sun, not in the sun, so not in the sun. Oh, it looks like Lamb's 37 yeah. years old. That's fascinating. Yeah, okay, right. anyway. Uh, makes sense. Yeah. Okay, real, real answer, do you think it's going to taste different? I would imagine. More muscle or something? Maybe, maybe it's rotting from the yeah, inside? Yeah, I, I feel don't like know, it. Yeah. You, yeah, do you get to taste like that, like, you know, 1700s like taste? Like, the OG UK goat in the house. Let's go. We got freaking uh, Mr. Sky High Josh. Mr. Marks. And we got MMA Marks. What's popping, Marks? I'm going to give you a. Uh, I'm going to give you air horn, too, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. All right. Um, how long do you think a seagull lives? Uh, my immediate answer is eternity. <laughs> I think it's been shitting on people for a million years. I think it's been laughing at us. I think they're a million a million times smarter than everybody. I think they just look at our heads like bullseyes, and they just drop dukes on our head all night, just having a great time. I think they live a great life. Uh, bing, 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 bing. Uh, all right, so what is it again? Seagull. Seagull. My, uh, my old uh, college mascot. That's horrible. You know, but no school should be a seagull. Yeah. Salisbury seagull. Ugh, <laughs> gross. I'm going to say that they're eating rubbish and trash, and I think that for some reason that means they're like, not like they can't die. So I'm going to say 60 years. <laughs> can't die. They just like, they're just like indestructible animals. Yeah, yeah. Remember like in, they're remember like goats. They could just eat anything. And <laughs> Remember like in a Christmas story where the dogs, like they're like, Ah, uh, he uh, drank a, a pint of pins oil before we got here. He'll be fine. You're like, what? That dog drank oil? Right? Like, that's what I think about pigeons. Like, they're just eating, like, straight, like, Not crap. pigeons. I'm sorry, but they're seagulls. They're seagulls. Yeah, they're seagulls similar. are big pigeons. Big pigeons. All right, what do you got? Uh, 30 years. 30 years. So 30 that ca- years. that garbage is catching up to them. I know. 30 years. But that, that tells me that, like, when I went to the beach as a kid, yeah. those seagulls are still around. Yeah, 100%, dude. They're still pooping on the same people. <laughs> So fucking snuggy in here. It is. I'm gonna give you one more snug for that, buddy. Uh, Damn, that's snug. All right, go ahead. Give me like one or two more. All right. Um, koi fish. Koi fish. All right. Well, we learned a little bit about fish, though. Yeah. So the first one was 200, 200 years. 
koi fish. Man, I feel like they've been around forever too. So I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go big again. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go similar to that. I'm gonna go like one thirty. Somebody said one thirty earlier, so I'm gonna go with that. All right, one thirty is your guess. One thirty, immortal. I like the immortal <laughs> guess. Koi fish. Eh? We'll give it a second here. Yeah, yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Uh, this was up, Josh. Thirty-five. Wow, going light. I mean, they're big goldfish, basically. Yeah, but I, how long was a goldfish last? <laughs> I don't know, as long as until you flush it down the toilet. <laughs> like, All right, what do you got? Goldfish are immortal, too. You just replace them. Don't even notice. Uh, <laughs> what do you... It says koi fish uh, in captivity, like in breeding, 100 to 200 years. Damn, these fish are making it really a lot longer than I expected. All right, one more. Uh, I got two more. For two, more two, two more, two more. Give me two more. Koala. Greatest night in the history of television. Koala. I don't know why the way you said that sounded like a spelling bee. <laughs> And I hope it's not a spelling bee because I'm in big trouble. Koala. A koala likes to eat can eucalyptus. Yeah, can you use it as a sentence? What's the... Now. What's the, yeah, what's the country of origin? Uh, koala. Oh, wow. <laughs> 400? I'm going to say... Seven. I, I, like, I like Mimi's 69. guess of 69. I'm actually going to go right in that ballpark. I'm going to go 75. 10 years, 25. 400, 15, 180. But we, got, we have no any idea. How, what I learned is Chad has no idea how long Koala lives, and I'm with you, Chad. I have no freaking And clue. everybody's going to be disappointed. Eight years. No shit! So what was the first one that lived six years? Uh, those were kangaroos. So kangaroos. Astro- Australia is not friendly to yeah. animals. We they do not we, last we, long. We just shoot them out of the tree. I'm like, shoot a kangaroo or shoot a koala. What does it matter? They're going to die next week anyway, dude. Know, they're just falling over. Might as well make some koala steaks when I have a second, dude. Uh, all right, one more. All right, last one. A hydra. What's a hydra? A hydra is a jellyfish-like creature. Okay, so... Immortal immediately. Yo, Chronic with the 200 bitties. Let's go. Uh, thank you very much, Chronic. Very much appreciate it. Is that it. your guess, Chronic? You think 200 years? Yeah, hey, I'm only Chronic's going 200 years. I believe it's even longer than that. I am guessing something insane. They're they're like jellyfish. They don't even have brains. They don't have thoughts. They don't care. They just like they're just like they're just like an old subway wrapper floating in the ocean <laughs> for a million years. So I'm gonna go. Something that could easily embarrass myself. <laughs> I'm gonna go 400 years. 400 years, eh? 400 years. Uh, they are legit immortal. That's what I'm saying. Thank you again, Chronic. Very much appreciated for that. Why don't you screw over? I feel like I'm falling off this camera. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's the camera itself. Yeah. yeah, maybe it's the camera. Maybe we bumped it. Yeah, we'll get it. I'll move it. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's got the window, see? <laughs> yeah, All right. We'll check. We'll check. 1,000, 1,400, 1,000. Well, these are massive guesses. I'm just going to do it. It's yeah. going to bother me. Uh, better? Perfect. Nailed it. Got it. What an unbelievable live show we run here. <laughs> so much high quality. So much, so much, quality. much going on. So much quality. So the answer is they are immortal. Get the fuck out of here. For they real? Said, they said their bodies are almost 100% stem cells, and they just are... Literally immortal. So do they Bar- reproduce? They, I mean, yeah. they're just like infinitely becoming more of them, or they wash up on shore and just well, they die. Get, they said they die because of like being eaten by things and destroy, you know, like predators and stuff like that. But th- them in and of themselves, like if you could somehow put it in a jar and it could have food, literally live forever. <laughs> I wait on the wait of the baby. Wait, what's going on here? Called it. Actually, Queen, you really did call it. I'll give you that. Uh, <laughs> okay, so. Legit, jellyfish are completely immortal. These are. That is so nutty to me. That actually horrifies me in some weird way. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the... I, uh, you did. You actually chat a lot of chat uh, up in tears. What are you laughing about over the marks? I want to get on the action, dude. What happened? What happened? What did I miss? I'm guessing weight of the baby. What? Wait, what baby? Who's having a baby? All right. Uh, <laughs> immortal. Fantastic. All right, let's go ahead... And we are going to jump into a little segment that we have not done in a little bit. We're going to jump into a little segment called... I'm glad you're having a good time, dude. It's contagious, all right? How come I can't hear that? You're not important enough. Can they hear that? Hopefully. Chad, can you hear the Snug Stories of Snug Files? I'm going to play it one more time. It doesn't matter. Don't care, but it looks awesome. Okay, so we're going to get into some Snug Files. Uh, If you guys... Or if you guys are, uh, yes, fuck yeah, let's go. Right. Let's go. Okay, so if you guys are alien people like we are, uh, I just found, I found, we, 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 which we wanted to pepper in a little bit. We hadn't had a Snug Files in a while. I saw two videos that I thought were fascinating. 
I'm going to be honest with you. There's no story linked to either of them. They're just videos. But I thought that they were credible enough. For, okay, let me. I'll say this. I went into the links in the forums that they were posted, and I sift through as many people as I could and as many comments as I could. And a lot of people there are tech people, and a lot of them said I broke it down. I can't find anything that se- that screams CGI in both videos. Okay, I say that a lot. I get in the Reddit forums and <laughs> really break them down. Okay, so like I said, if it's a junky video, they immediately get washed. You know how the internet is; yeah. they can find out immediately and they get they get tossed. Both of these videos have not been uh, debunked, so I found them fascinating. Uh, we hear the shit out of it. I love that answer for some reason. Uh, all right, let's go ahead. You want me to play it again? <laughs> no. Okay. So this is the first one. Uh, let's max screen it. Uh, we're going to blow this thing up. So this one, the, they are going to show you birds. They're going to show you the satellite. And then they're going to show you something else. I want you to keep in mind, we don't hear it. So here are the birds. Okay. Birds flying in V. Normal, normal, normal. This is a infrared camera. Satellites. Very normal rotation. Okay. Yep. Nice straight lines. Yep. See following their path. So here is an aircraft. Uh, and the camera angles will change in a second. Flashing lights, you see that? They have that. Okay, so now he's trying to catch it. He's altering his camera so he can try and keep up with it. Now watch. Here it is again. He's watching, he's watching, he's watching. Not, you would think maybe a comet, maybe a plane, but watch watch what it does. Watch what it does. Stops and moves like that. Zigging and zagging out there. That is way... Way up in the sky, so they said it's way too high, and they said it would, it would, they would be able to just based on the speed, it cannot be a bird. That was one of the things that was said in there. They couldn't said it be a plane. They said it couldn't be a plane could because be of the Superman, movement. Though. They said it couldn't be a plane because of the movement. They said it could not be a bird because or any kind of creature because of the speed, and they said it couldn't be a drone because of the way it moved as well. They said drones don't move that way either. Uh, let me ask you a quick question. This is like the second time, maybe the only second time you've seen this video. Does it bother you that somebody can take a video like this, throw it up on the internet, and nobody, like, nobody anywhere seems to have any problems with it? You know what I'm saying? Like, no, like, government agency is like, yeah, we should look into that, or something like that. Is that bother Yeah, like, you? there should be some people out there like, yo, that's probably not a good thing. Yeah, like, yeah. we should know what that is. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> when she says she's home alone. <laughs> I'm dead, bro. Oh, <laughs> So you're just flying, you're just going to the grocery store. She says she's home alone. Then you just swerve. Got you. Noted. Fantastic. Actually, that's a really good joke. I'm going to give you credit on that one. I love that. I love y'all chat. I love that. That's a really nice joke. Well played. We're going to end it on that joke. Fascinating. Let's go on to the next snug files. Uh, this is another, nope, one more go. What was the other one? Yeah, let's go that one. This is another one. Again, uh, the person went out of their way to slow the video down. We're going to show you the first one in the real speed. Um, so here, there it goes. So you can see it in real speed. Just comes across your screen at 100 miles an hour. Now, pause it for a second. I want you guys to say, I want you guys to understand something. That, whatever it was, doesn't seem to be super high above his house, no. right? Uh, would you, was that no. fair to say? Okay. Like within the field of view of the camera. Oh, right. Agree. Okay, so carry on. Oh, now they're going to do a little slow mo version. So there's this one first, and then it almost looks like a second one. Yeah, coming. no, there is. There's at least two. Or, there's at least two that fly by his camera. So this is ten times slow motion of his camera. Uh, Shadow, I totally agree with what you're saying. The, the way it moved looked like a boat in water, which is fascinating because in the sky. So there's Boom. one, top left, right here again, spherical, which I think is fascinating. Yep, uh, and that's ten times slow mo. Yeah, it's literally barely grabbing it. And then there's a second one right behind it. So the, you'll see. Here's one. Look at that. This guy just literally was having to, like, fly his drone in his front yard, caught this. Uh, that's fascinating. Is there, is there, I think he shows one more, right? Because I, uh, well, maybe not. No, I think that's it. So not a plane. Uh, and then he cuts to this. Now, these could easily be birds, but we have actually said before that in the last, like, five or six alien stories that we've covered... There tends to be like three or four or five lights, and they all stand to dance around each other. So there is something going on with that. I thought this was a really fascinating uh, video, uh, both videos. Both of them were hard. People were struggling to debunk. Uh, Both of them um, were, again, very reliable uh, cuts. Again, they could be a million different things, and I totally understand that. Uh, But what me and Lam want to cover is there has been so many reports in the last two years. Um... And some of them from our own government saying, yeah, 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 we know. Like, there's been things that have been said by the government that got no traction that were major, major, major. They're like, yeah, we, yeah, we agree. There's a bunch of 
unidentified things out there, and we don't know what they are. 100%. What Lamb just said is, like, there's been there at least three or four people from the Pentagon who have said, yes, we understand that there's a lot of people catching uh, unidentified flying objects in the air. We agree that we have found some of them, too, and we're not 100% sure what they are. Now, do I think that's the truth? No. Do I do do I think do I believe that they're dropping breadcrumbs so that at some point they can drop a bomb on us and say yeah we do know yeah I do but yeah, they, hey this is Bob he's an alien yeah, you know, yeah. he's been here for a long time they keep saying that they don't want to say that to us because we'll lose our mind these things get released every ten seconds and nobody seems to care so uh, but, I ask you again but, yeah, but real definitive proof right I think it's easy to ignore that as something weird or whatever like. Real definitive proof. Like, the government comes out, and they're like, here's our aliens. Backlog, can you expound on that? That looks uh, similar to something when I saw. I was 14 old delivering papers to my father. I would love to hear that story. Um, so, again, my biggest problem is there could be there could be one video of this released a day for the next two years, and they could all be credible, and people st- it would still not catch anybody's attention. No. And I, I and I don't. Why is that? Because I, I, I think it's because the government spent fifty plus years programming us to think all these things are fake or I whatever. Agree. I wouldn't be surprised if the government paid. I always wondered who was buying the National Enquirer. Yeah, I agree with you, Lamb. I think we've been. I think we have been told for a very long time through movies, through you know, oh, you know, like anytime a, a something comes out that seems credible, there's always somebody that's way higher up. Oh, that's not credible. That's that's junk. And it immediately gets dismissed, and I think everybody goes, oh, okay, well, they said it's junk, it's junk. But nowadays, it's harder for them to become junk because there are people out there that are way tech-savvier than me and you, and they could sift through these videos yeah. and say, hey, we can look through the original coding and see if there's problems yeah. there, and if they can't, then there's actual stuff. And cameras. Cameras are, t- like, a thousand times better than they were, and they're everywhere. That's actually true. Yeah, everybody's flying out. Yeah, people have drones and flying in the air. People okay, have cameras. Like 8K foot. People have telescopes oh, yeah. just recording oh, yeah. at all oh. times. Uh, so I just want to leave back those comments. Uh... Uh, I saw a ship in the sky that was flying weird like that. It was a triangle, but the video made more sense to me because it had three sides going to one point, like that video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'll send it to you back. Look, there is this one specifically was one of the videos, like I said, that when I sifted through the comments, this guy seemed very like humbled by the whole thing. He was like, "Look, like this isn't what I was trying to catch. This isn't something that I was trying to like go for. I'm not really a UFO guy. I just happened to grab it on my camera, and I don't know what to do with it. So that's why I thought the story seemed even more tangible to me. And I'm also not sure why aliens are hanging out in Connecticut. Miss Maple syrup? I don't know, dude. <laughs> wow, I, I can tell you what you know a lot about Connecticut. It's close to Vermontish, you know. It's up there. It's like an entire state in the way, but they gotta, have, to... they gotta have some syrup up there. All right. <laughs> the other thing, yeah, uh, that, get, get any of that Connecticut maple syrup. <laughs> they gotta. Uh, mm. for, the Vermonts can't have like the staple on all of it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> they can't be holding on all the whole. Uh, there's gotta be the similar trees floating around. All right. So it's, it's, yeah, it's like the weather's got to be remotely the same. Okay, the soil's got to be similar. All right, uh, we're <laughs> off it. Let's move past the syrup. Because uh, as, as a kid, I used to call it syrup. So syrup. I used to just have one syllable. Syrup. Syrup. Uh, y'all, 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 y'all syrup with that waffle? All right. Uh, so this one, I'm going to take a trip to a slightly different realm. Uh, this is something that I don't actually believe in, but I like the video. Fair. This is something I don't actually believe in, so we can argue about it. And I'm not even saying I'm, I'm, I'm so, I'm not, I'm, I'm completely, yeah, you're on it. I'm not saying I'm completely, uh, like, not agreeing that this it's fake. But this couple right here bought a house, and the landlord explained to them when they bought the house that uh, the previous tenants had said that it was haunted. And by moved. demonic entities. Yes. That's the that, words they use. That's what the landlord told them, that it was haunted by demonic entities, and the other couple moved out. Uh, they also said that somebody had died in this house. So they have a... I think ca- legally you have to tell them. You have to tell them. We actually, yeah, we remember we learned that recently. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Lam were trying to find an apartment recently, and we went to this one lady's house, and she goes, she goes, hey, I just want to give you a heads up. Uh, we do live in the back house. I said, okay, so you live right here. She's like, yeah, we're right here. So we wanted somebody that we're very friendly with. I said, okay. She's also, a couple years ago, uh, my dad died in the house. I said, fantastic. Okay, I don't want I don't want any interest in this but house. But he died peacefully. She made us. That's made right, sure. in like his chair or yeah. something. Yeah, he just died in his chair watching like the Price is Right or something. Um, so uh, this story, very similar. They said they don't care. They don't believe in that. So they have a camera set up to watch their cats when they're gone. They were very disturbed by a video, so they decided to share it. And then they started getting details about the person that died in the house, and the details lined up 
a little too close to what they saw in the video. I saw it, and I'm not really that guy, but I thought it was just fascinating enough that I wanted to show you guys. I think it's that video, right? Yeah, do you want to show the video? I do. All right. So we'll show the video. I know I am fully aware from y'all's screen. It might be hard to watch, so we're going to cut to a picture afterwards. So here's the video. A little fudge. Somewhere, something there. Gone. Okay. Boom. Yeah. They have a little closer cut of it. If you're looking like it kind of looks like an old lady or something, right? Okay. So uh, we'll go cut to the pictures. Uh, here is the picture below. Oh, that's actually a good picture too. But here's the picture below uh, of what they think they caught. And then if Lamb scrolls down, you can see, yeah, you see that they, they're uh, there. Also, one of the most interesting parts of the video, and I'm not going to be able to show you again. Just trust me. I watched the video three, four times. When this whatever thing comes up the steps, there is a cat right below this left yellow line. It's like sitting right by that wall, okay? Uh, can I point? No, I can't. Okay. <laughs> I thought maybe they'd be able to see where I was pointing, but it doesn't work that way. Uh, by that wall, there was a cat. The second whatever this got to the top of the steps, the cat ran and jumped uh, under the table. I think that's interesting. To me, animals are, I know they're startled easily, but they, this cat in the video clearly hears something. Yeah, so something happened. Something happened. So they come to find out that an old lady with a bouffant hairdo used to live in this house and died there. Okay, died in the house. To me, that looks like an old lady with a bouffant hairdo. And okay. then she was taken out by paramedics in her nightgown. And she was taken out by paramedics in her nightgown, and that looks like somebody in their nightgown. So I'm going to come to you, Lamb. Is any part of this, you? what percentage of you believes this is real? What percentage of you believe this is complete malarkey? A lot of things line up a little too much. This, has, I don't, I, I don't really believe in ghosts. I believe in aliens way more than I believe in ghosts. Agreed. This one's a little hard for me to say. Nothing happened. Agreed. But what happened, I don't know. Agreed. I think it does. It doesn't look like a human form. No. Uh, I think it's fascinating that the fact that uh, the cat jumped. I think it's fascinating that the old lady died in the same house. Uh, it doesn't, the, 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 the people in this house just don't seem like people that want to be on television, right? Yeah. So it didn't, it didn't scream like they were trying to get like known for anything. Uh, she, the lady said now she's starting to notice more things. She also said that the wife doesn't really want to talk about it. Uh, she thinks it's very, very weird. Um, so again, it seems to be, like I said, it doesn't seem to be like they, they actually bought that or they went into the house knowing that there was, it was demonic and they still didn't care, which also tells me they don't really care about these things. Um, my, my thought to you, hundred percent real from P Torres, you rent in this place. Mm -hmm. They come, you find this place. It's dope. It's in a great neighborhood. It's crazy cheap because no one wants to live there. Mm -hmm. Are you renting it? They're all gone. It, it takes every box you want. It's exactly it's where like on the beach or something. Yeah, it's okay. everything you want, and it's wildly cheaper than it should be because of this demonic thing. <laughs> I like really want to scream yes, but I'm like I'm struggling. I'm struggling to say I know. yes. I think I say yes, and I test it out. I'm struggling to say. Chad, I'd be like, Chad, same same question to you guys. Uh, but but you're locked into a two year lease. No 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 no. I, better, better, in. That better situation. You, got, you, you, you're on, let's say you're going to go vacation to the beach, and this place is a third of the price as everywhere else, but it's right on the beach. Oh, for a week, I'll hang out with a ghost. Two weeks. I'm saying two yeah, weeks. I'm still hanging out with a ghost. Okay, that's that's what temporary. I thought, I, I'm saying live in this place. No, the answer to live, was a, I think, was a hard no for me. To, to, to vacation there, I was already, I was already hesitating. Oh. Uh, I already told you, my friend, uh, I've watched this video over and over. I think it's real. Really? You've seen this video before then? $321. Interesting. Okay. All right. Fascinating. I was just curious what you guys thought. Uh, we will get back to some alien talk at another day. There is plenty of stories. I'm just going to say this. If you guys have any alien videos that you think are necessary for us to watch, I would love if you guys would send them to us because I want to feature them on the show. Uh, we are going to play a uh, little game with you guys uh, that apparently I'm struggling to find. Uh, there we go. Uh after I get an exorcism done, I the exorcism part is very it's, it's this iron you're in my head. When Lamb immediately pitched that question of would I live there, my first thought was just burn some sage. I was like, yeah, I don't have a problem with it, but I was like, yeah, but then I'm gonna start acting weird, and then I'm gonna start getting like nasty with people, and then in my brain I'm gonna go, is that fucking thing in my body? And then I'm gonna start, <laughs> then I'm gonna start acting all weird. So I don't know. That's why I was like, I don't know if I can do it, and I'm gonna have to end an exorcism, exorcism, and then people are gonna think I'm completely insane. I'm gonna lose all my friends. Uh, anyway, okay. 
Uh, let's move on. We're going to play a little game with you guys. We're going to ask you guys. We're going to show you something on the screen. You guys are going to tell us whether you're in or are you out on it. You take it anyway. Fantastic. Well, let's go ahead and play a little game with you guys. Here. Are you in or are you out? All right. Let's play a little game whether we're in or out. First one up on the board. I'm going to throw you guys over here. Softball. Softball, Hey, Lamb says. Easy question. Space tourism. I already have a tr- trouble with that, but I already have. <laughs> I'm already really close to out, but I'll listen. Yeah, huge balloon with a bar to take tourists to space for 120 thousand dollars a ticket. Huge balloon. I love how I, Americans are so stupid. I love how we have to put a bar in it. For that, a t- I, that, is that a selling point? Is that, I'm going to space. I don't give a shit if there's a there's a cocktail in there. I do like the idea of the cocktails being in like those squeezy packs. That's cool. I agree with that. So like, here's your space drink. They're not going to reach the point where no gravity though. I would assume not. I would assume not too. I think they'd have to be it's different. A balloon. I get. Right. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, I don't yeah. think you that, get would, that high. Okay, so this is uh, Lamb. Uh, just based. On, I want to scroll that just so they can see it a little bit. Uh, so this is the. What do you say? This is like an artistic draw up, right? Yeah, yeah, a little mock up. But they did say this is supposedly they're going to start pre testing in 2023. So you guys can go. So we also looked at. Uh, we looked up exactly how far it is. They are going to take people 260 thousand feet in the air. If you want perspective, a plane is only 30,000 feet at max height, sometimes 40. So this is anywhere from six to eight, nine times as high as a plane is, higher than a plane is, okay? So for $125,000, they're going to stick you in here with your bar, and they're going to walk over and give you a vodka cranberry. and uh, Everything's going to have a space name, though. That's right. going to be like... For sure. It, <laughs> for sure. This yeah. is the... Uh, this is the vodka, like, sunrise, and this is the... This, yeah, this, this is, is the... Tequila Aurora. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, the nebula gin. Uh, Iron says... Too, okay, but... Okay. Let's... Let me put... Dollar price. figure out the window. Dollar figure out the window. Dollar figure out the window. Now, does that change everything? I'm, uh, I'm, interest, I'm so interested. Really? So yeah, no, you're, you're weird. <laughs> Lamb's jumped out of a plane before, and uh, so I, I think for him this is less scary. I'm like, yo, do I get a parachute just in case? You can't jump out at 260. No, but on the way out, way down, yeah, about ha- you know, right before. <laughs> So boom. let's say let's say like right. the when it hits, pops when it hits yeah like when it hits yeah like fifty thousand you're out well fifty thousand I don't think you're making either but I th- you jump at about ten thousand usually you're so, so, so the it, last second me, I'm stepping out the door let me let me <laughs> let me walk through that for a second if I'm if that's all right okay. so I'm in a, I'm in this t- like ball that's plummeting to the earth you're in and a, my options are just ride it out or jump out and maybe no 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 I have, I have, well I have us a problem <laughs> with all that I'm saying you're in a um. Seems to be some kind of a floating lunchbox, right? <laughs> yeah, metallic that, pill. All of a sudden, you know, for some reason it gets hit by uh, space debris, pops. <laughs> now you're free falling to earth, okay? Yeah. So here's my but problem. But very slowly at first because gravity's not that strong up there. Right. So now it's free falling, it's tumbling. Yeah. And you, with your parachute, are going to out the window, yeah. I imagine, <laughs> Just and hit. try and perceive where you think are at. you're at yeah. 10,000 feet. <laughs> We're really close. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Look, I'm going to agree with you. If I'm going to go on this thing, I yeah. want to embarrass you. That, I agree with you 100%. Uh, you go. Let's go. I'm out. Scotch is out. Now, I does the up. bar change any of this? No. Decision-wise. Right. Like, it's not like, oh, it's, it's 110000 I'm, I'm saying price and not included. Like, no, it, it doesn't give me any. Balloon versus with the bar, balloon without the bar. I'll get hammered drunk before I get on it. <laughs> it's like, how long? It can't be that long. Somebody said I would go to space, no doubt, but I have issues with not being able to control it. That's uh, I'm, I'm on the same train with you, Iron. I don't like being able to. Honestly, I think it takes a really long time. Ooh, I'm definitely hard out for me. Hard, hard out. Uh, Lamb is hard in, though. Give Lamb, give me number two. Do, do, do. Here it is. All right, chat. <laughs> Perfume with French fries scent sells out within hours. I'm going to read that again. Perfume with French fries scent sells out within hours. First off, can we just go initially off uh, the exterior? Beautiful. Very interesting. Beautiful. Yeah, I could see that at like a Nordstrom, you know, the lady spraying me as I walk by. It's a beautiful bottle. You think? I love the bottle. Uh, I love they it. can have strippers on there. I still wouldn't go. I'm with you, Josh, on that. I love Me that you they both have like. the crinkle cut fry next to the bottle showing you that it's representative of the crinkle cut. I also like that they have somehow managed to put French fries in a classy way into that picture. Yeah. I do like that. I do like that a lot. Uh, 
Uh, think about the G's that we pulled. That's what I said, Shadow. That's right. That's right. I'm, Shadow. I'm, I'm, Lamb's over here thinking that he's going to be peering out the window like peeping Tom. Ah, we're up 9,000 feet, folks. See you later. <laughs> hey. I respect it, though. I respect it. Uh, Better than just riding it what out. What French fries are we talking? I have no idea. But these Lam- are. This is put out by the Idaho uh, Potato Farmers Co-op. Well, I mean, who's not familiar with that, guys? Come on. Come on. The Idaho Potato Commission. Come yeah. on, guys. Come the IPC, on. baby. The IPC. <laughs> The IPC, okay? Uh, the IPC. <laughs> I can't believe you just abbreviated that. I just wanted to go. I just wanted to go really fast. <laughs> I saw it right here. Copyright, in the copyrighted it. <laughs> it's in the article. It's an IPC. Person. The IPC, the uh, Idaho Potato Commission, uh, rolled out a line of perfume that mimics the fast food favorite, okay? So this is the uh, the French perfume, right? Yeah, it the smells frite. too good to resist. Yeah, it's a French frite, okay? Uh, they said the perfume is a great gift for anyone who can't refuse a French fry. Lamb. Oh, all right. Now, I yeah. know you're out. Right. But I didn't say it was out yet. Let me know let me tell you what the price is on this. Okay. A dollar eighty nine. Get the hell out! I'm so hard in <laughs> for that bottle. The bottle's worth more than a dollar eighty nine. Is that a plastic bottle? I probably. At a dollar uh, eighty nine, you ain't getting a glass bottle. Yeah, yeah, you don't know about the IPC? Come on, right, Squirrel? Come on, get on the board, baby. Each bottle sells for a dollar eighty nine. Me and Squirrel, uh, we get the catalog every year for the IPC, dude. Yeah, the brand yeah. new crinkle cut. <laughs> yeah, you got to see what's up with the new uh, new varietals of potatoes. <laughs> That's right. Uh, okay, so let me ask you this though, Chat. Let me ask you this. Hey, ruthless, you made it. Uh, what perfume? And this goes for each opposite sex. So if you're a male, what perfume could a woman put on that would entice you? If you're a female, what perfume could a male put on that would entice you? And I'm going to go ahead. I usually come to you first. I'm going to go for me first. Yeah. My, and this is such a simple answer. It's probably going to be other people's answers. It's at, I'm going to at least start with pizza. If I walk by somebody and I smell some form of melted cheese. <laughs> So what if they're mac and cheese? Hey, it's still and probably it depends on what kind of mac and cheese. But if it's real mac and cheese, like baked mac and cheese, yeah, love it, super in. But I smell like a, if I smell somebody that smells like a pizza, I'm super hard in. Lamb, what do you got, bro? Mm. Ooh, hot crispy cream. Wow. Oh, donuts. Yeah. Wow, that's actually a really solid answer. Very solid answer. Like a hot and ready. Yeah. Like. <laughs> That's the name of the perfume. It's hot do- and ready. Yeah, I was say the donuts are going to be that way too. <laughs> Copyright. Not, right. not only the girl, she's hot and ready. Here yeah. we go. Uh, <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay. Uh, Dior's have. Oh, very. Uh, Josh, you're coming up with this for us. Steak. Uh, you want to smell like steak? <laughs> oh, you smoke give me a brisket. woman. You give me a woman smelling like a smoked brisket. <laughs> That's not normally a compliment, too, right, Savage? Yeah. You know what? Deandra, <laughs> you are smelling like one smoked brisket tonight. <laughs> you are looking fi- mighty fine. <laughs> yeah, you are smelling like one salty smoked biscuit brisket. Uh, dead fish? No, you don't want your man to smell like dead fish. Uh, okay, so Lamb, coming to you, are you any out on the French fries? A dollar eighty nine, so in, so in, dude. I gotta smell it. I have to know. I love the idea. It's uh, and to be honest with you, even if you don't use it to like, uh, it's, it's I just great to sit on a shelf. Off, I I looked at this article a hundred times. I really didn't know it was called Freets. That makes me laugh. I really didn't notice that until <laughs> right now. That's really funny. But I would use it more as a gag gift, yeah. right? Like if my friends were coming over, yeah. I was like, "You cooking?" I'd be like, "I might." I would just spray that shit yeah. everywhere. They're like, "Is there French fries?" You're like, "No." Why do you Why do you get that impression? I haven't even cooked anything yet. <laughs> spraying it on like <laughs> zucchini. <laughs> The couches, yeah. the bathroom, the toilet. That's uh, so not too bad. I like chicken and waffles. Uh, no, no, no lavender. We're talking about food, random. Uh, I guess lavender's technically food. You eating lavender? It's in certain things. You can but I feel it. like lavender's already in perfume. Yeah. See? But I'm saying, like, I don't know. <laughs> yo, yo, I mean, like, there's, like, a lot of <laughs> cantaloupes and stuff. <laughs> Shadow. <laughs> Shadow says, y'all ain't had a good brisket then. <laughs> Wow, I'm saying if you said that to a girl, you're gonna also have to expound on that with that lady. You're gonna have to explain to her why why her smelling like a nice brisket is a good thing. Yeah, right. why? Because it took her 18 hours to get ready. Um, uh, side thing, me and Backlog have a butter scent spray here. Is it a perfume? Okay, so I'm in on this. You're in on this. Let's go to number three. Tacos. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. All right, Lamb, give me that story, baby. All right, Dyson. A little late to the COVID game, I guess, but uh, releasing a air purifying mask mm-hmm. and noise canceling headphones that combine. So I guess this is really designed for airplanes. 
Like, oh. would be my the best guess I could get. Like, you want to be on a plane, but you want no one, no one's germs and no one to bother you. Okay. I want all the noise canceled, and I want to be breathing my own fresh, purified air. I want to be in my own bubble, and nobody can mess with me. You look over to the person next to you, you see them wearing this. You don't, you don't feel a little alarmed? You don't feel a little concerned? Like, not like, like, what is this guy? I'd be concerned that, I like, I'd be looking at the person next to that person to see if they're, like, an air marshal and if this is, like, a Hannibal Lecter situation. Okay, so I, <laughs> right, right. Like, uh, yeah. like, is this person, like, strapped in the seat? Like, is he going to bite are me? Are they okay? Yeah, is he gonna, I'm worried he's going to chew on me. Uh, so I have two thoughts. One, I'm not that big of a germaphobe, okay? So the air thing doesn't bother me normally. This thing doesn't entice me at all. But my second thought is, we constantly talk about this recently, how far I think we are into the future. Like, when we were kids, there was like 100 things, and if you're my age, especially, you know, in that immediate Lamb's, you know, general area, when we were a kid, there was a lot of things that, like, we only got a cell phone when we were, like, late teens, right? And, and so uh, uh, my point is, there's a lot of things that we thought we'd never see, and now we're seeing all of them. So I think it's cool that we're actually in the future. That being said, this thing, though, I think, is actually the base model of what we're going to see with, like, a mask. Yes, like, like a whole... A full he- helmet yes, you put yes, on? Yes, yes, A full helmet where you have the breathing, you have the headphones, and then, remember how, like, they have, like, they have like glasses yeah. now that have, like, information as yeah. you look through them. That's what I think is going to so come So it's going to be, like, a Darth Vader helmet? Yes, that's what I believe. We're all going to be walking around Darth Vader helmets. <laughs> I think it's going to be very... Gonna be customized, like, we're going to put stickers on them You're going to be very aroused when a girl shows you her face. That's like, what I think is wow. going to happen. Yeah. Uh, Are you in on this, though? See, somebody already said space helmet. We're so it, it, it's over nine hundred dollars. Is that what this thing is? Uh, is that was that real? Did you see that? In I here? did not see a price. You, uh, wait, are you saying that? You're everybody's in. We got a lot of people in. See, I'm out, but that's cool. I like people that fact they're in. It's nine hundred dollars. No. Uh, filters. Oh, the okay. filters are just seventy, eighty dollars. Is that where did you see that at, Squirrel? Did you look it up? Yeah, I didn't see a price anywhere in any of the things. Oh, oh no. Okay. 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 But it's Dyson, so. It's going to be expensive. It's going to be expensive. And he might be on I mean, the filters are $70, $80. Yeah. I think it's got to be a few hundred bucks already. So, Lam, are you in? Six years of development, so they were developing this before that. Interesting. Uh, I'm in on the concept, the oh, idea. I like the, I like the idea, too. The, uh, do the, I want it? No. I'm worried they're going to keep strapping headphones to shit, though. Yeah. That's what I do. I don't like that aspect of it. It's like, oh. I do like the headphones in the fact that it, because it's got weight, to just like strap it around your head yeah. would be tough. Yeah. So it like holds from the top. I Claustrophobia, like that. I also think, is a real problem for some people because yeah. you are going to be pretty strapped into that thing. All right. So I'm out. Let's go to the next one. This one, okay. <laughs> I have to at least introduce this. So I, you know, I, if you guys have been uh, in the show before, there was a story I did about three, four months ago where Facebook was recommending very funky. weird things to me. To um, oh, very back weird. Back at it. Very oh weird. My. Like, it's just like, I'm sure you guys have this where like you have their Facebook oh store and it recommends like things to you. Oh One of the things that it recommended three, four months ago was a portable oh toilet. It was like a hose. Oh yeah, the hose that I strapped to my weenie, and then I, and then like you could bring it in your car, right? That's like I don't know like why it recommended that to me. Now it's back at it again. Uh, <laughs> it was trying to sell me a pee ball. Is that what it's called? Pee ball. Can we call it? Can we cut to it? A pee ball. So this is a potty training utensil that keeps score, that you keep score each, so hold it right there. So each one of these holes has a number value, and if you make it through certain holes, you get certain points. If you make it through other holes, like ski ball Yeah. That's why it's called pee ball Just realized that. So it's just like ski ball but it's pee ball I want to know, <laughs> does anybody want this strapped to their toilets? Lamb, do you want this strapped to your toilet? If I'm having a party? Yeah. yeah. I, I want this in the, I want this. Yeah, like if people rolling in on the party, and all of a sudden they're going to the guest bathroom, yeah. and this is in there, You're people in. are having a good time. <laughs> Let me ask you this: do regularly, you, no. Do you feel like if you have a woman living living in the house, she's gonna be upset because you can't like she can't play as well? Oh yeah, for sure. We're gonna have to. They're gonna have to have two different models. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like women are fucked on this one. This is not fair. Yeah. What if we have like uh like this is like you're turning your toilet into Top Golf out here. <laughs> I'm hard in on this. I think this is hilarious, and I think that yeah. if I come downstairs and you're sitting there watching TV, and I'll be like, yo, I just threw a 140 on the board. You're going to be like, I I'm don't about, give a shit, dude. I'll be like, yo, I got to go get drink a Gatorade. <laughs> <laughs> Hell to the no, see, the women are out. But even Marx is out, dude. Out, everybody's out. All right, all right. The idea of training a kid 
to use the toilet, though, using this. That's is true. what it's for. That's true. So even what kind of thing Shadow's touching on, this is legitimately designed for kids to potty train. So that's, like, actually what it's for. I just thought it was hilarious. I never heard of such a thing. It made me laugh. I love the... Now I love the term pee ball. It's so funny. Uh... Imagine the splash if you hit the edge. Well, that's why those that's why those are worth four points, I believe, yeah, Mark. It's, it's risk reward. It's risk reward, Mark. <laughs> yeah, right, hundred percent, dude. All um, right. And yes, Queen, we do know what a shiwi is. Yes, we do. It's uh, the male, like, yeah, you just. What if you need to take a shit? <laughs> It, it just clips on. It's not like it's glued to this thing forever. Right, but that's a good point. I got to clip it and unclip it every damn time. That's a good point. I didn't think about the duties. Uh, all right, forgot all about that. Next one. Okay. Right. Are we running? Uh, is the story that's, that's Okay, so let's go full screen. Okay, so now we're going to play another game with you guys. Um, we are going to play a game that we have uh, we have gone to many, many times. A uh, little game we like to call. Is it real? <gasps> is it fake? <gasps> Real or fake? Little uh, twist on it this time. We are. We are, we are we're kind of trying to get creative here. So we have a twist. We are going to read a news headline. Half of them are real. Half of them are fake. The ones that are real, we are going to delve into. The ones that are fake, we're going to make fun of you if you think it was real. So it is 50-50 split pretty much. Mm-hmm. About right? Does that sound about right? Uh, okay. So. Or 60-40 or 30-70. We well, actually, know. that's actually true. We don't know. Oh, this right. camera's bothering me again. Sorry. Uh, uh, it just keeps yeah, it's sliding on us or something. Yeah. Very strange. Yeah. Um, How like sounds like the wife in the gym. <laughs> it's just a good relationship. Nailed it. Okay. So we're gonna. I'm gonna read you some news headlines. You guys are gonna tell me whether it's real or fake. And uh, uh, Lamb does not know some of these, so he knows some of the new, the real ones, but he does not know all of them. So I actually typed it in. So Lamb, if you want to play along, you're more than welcome. If you want to sit back and relax and have chat, play along, you're more than welcome. Okay. We are going to start with the first headline. Every hour we could, and we were, you know, stressed. We had no work-life balance. These are all, they're all stupid. Let's just start there. Uh, Florida man attempted theft foiled as ice cream melts in his pocket. I'm going to read that again for you. Uh, Florida man attempted theft failed as ice cream melts in his pocket. Is that a real news headline, or did somebody make that up? Well, I have learned one thing in my life. What's that? Never doubt a Florida man story. That, that's true. Florida men are up to anything, dude. They're out there, and they're lurking. <laughs> so, so just from the title, I imagine a guy that tried to steal ice cream, and he put it in his pocket. Right? It's Florida. But I, well, what I imagine is he got to, like, I, for some reason, imagine he did it, like, in a Walmart, and he got to, like, the front. <laughs> the guy was like, sir, can I ask what's in your pocket? I'm, th- I'm imagining it was chocolate, and it melted, yeah. and it looked like some sort of accident. So they were concerned for him. Very good. True. Okay, so that, that, that could be a possibility. However, let's see. We got we got real, 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 real. Florida man, it's real. It's real. Florida man, be crazy. That's me. All right, let me go ahead and tell you guys whether you're right or wrong. You are flat wrong. Just made that shit up that none of that's true. Uh, we just bullshitted you guys. Got him. Got him. Sorry, guys. All right. Number two. Number two. I'm going to have to go a little out of order so you don't know which one yeah. to pick. Uh, number two. I rung my mom and spoke to her. Israel accused of deploying killer dolphins. Israel accused of. Sorry, this fucking things. Israel accused of deploying killer dolphins. Rip. I know, dude. Gotcha. Uh, rip. One of them said anything. Israel accused of deploying killer dolphins. Lamb. When you when I say killer dolphins, let's see if we think of the same thing. What's the first thing you think of? Uh, dolphins that like eat people. I think of Austin Powers, piranhas with fucking laser beams. That's all I think of. Literally the. I think of just like a pack of dolphins that are somehow been like raised by piranhas. That's maybe possible. So we got. Uh, I like, what yeah. are these background sounds? And then I said, oh, we do only fans. Get it yourself for the, boy, for the boys. And he went, no, you don't. And I was like, yeah, I do. Is there stuff outside? I, I don't know. I can't hear anything. I don't hear anything at all. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Josh. So maybe let me know. <laughs> now I hear something. Now I hear our neighbors. Mainly like if we're... Uh, like, okay, so what do we got? We got... We got real from one. We got real fake. Do they have ray guns? <laughs> right. Fake, real, real as fuck. Wait, no, real. Uh, okay, fake. I hear it too. Okay, so maybe maybe there's my kids or something outside our apartment. Okay. So this story is actually real. There was audio in the background. Oh, maybe it's a story. Oh, you could be right. It could be a story. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. What, did you just turn it down? Oh, this is as much. Got it. Nailed it. All right. Thank you guys for letting us know. I really do. We are kind of shooting from the hip here. So uh, sometimes this is a real story. 
Um, we didn't want to say Hamas because we know that would give it away. Uh, Hamas accuses Israel of deploying killer Zionist dolphins. So if Lam wants to scroll down, this is a real story. They found a dolphin, and they said said dolphin had been trained to attack. And not only that, they said the dolphin keeps scrolling down. I just want to show them what they, what they had on their head. Keep going down. Keep going down. This is what they said they had on its head. They said it had a harpoon. <laughs> Okay, that really was from our apartment. <laughs> Apparently the ghosts are unhappy. <laughs> okay, that really was from our apartment. We have, we have <laughs> that pots, took me a minute. We have pots and pans that hang from the wall. Apparently one did not want to hang from the wall. No mas, so it just <laughs> fell 10 feet to the floor. Hopefully it didn't break the countertop. <laughs> okay, so that I'll was... I'll have to a, look at that later. That was really funny. That made me laugh. <laughs> okay, so this is a real story. Lamb, I'm just going to come to you. Dolphins are apparently almost supposed to be almost smarter than uh, humans. Do you think that's a real possibility that people are already using animals for stuff like this and we have not heard about 100%. it? A hundred percent. hundred percent. This article said that there was the, like a U.S. animal warfare like department. Oh, that's right. Just, can we find that? There was actually something in here about that. Uh, maybe we already passed it. Uh, but there is something in this article that says that there is. Oh, yeah, here it is. Uh, noted that the alleged incident could not be confirmed. It is at least plausible that Israel may have a Navy Marine mammal program. That's what we're hearing. Uh, what's up, Havoc? Yeah, dude, something fell off our wall right in the middle. This was actually kind of funny. We literally got to watch it happen. It was literally right. It was like, was like, oh, it was like eight, it is. eight feet from us. What's up, kind of good because otherwise that sound, I was like, hmm, yeah. that was a lot of noise. That was a lot of noise. So we at least could explain to you what noise was. Okay. Uh, we are going to go on to another another real, real or fake. That was really from our... Hey, thanks for the clip, Marks. I appreciate that. We are probably going to use that. That's funny as hell. Uh, okay, next article. is Next our headline, I should say. Is it real or is it fake? Okay? Um, uh, yes, that's... Uh, yes, that's really funny. That was from our apartment. What's up, Heavy? Uh... Dude, are you kidding me? They have dogs that carry cameras and stuff already that are trained to destroy enemies in the command. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Dolphins, I think, is realistic. I agree. I agree. Yeah, Havoc, this is not our full set, so... Yeah, there uh, is construction, so construction noises do happen. Uh, maybe next week or the week after, and maybe the next couple weeks we're going to have a, a set, and we'll, and we'll hopefully... we'll. But we're, right now, everything's under construction. Uh, I'm the clip commander. I appreciate that, Marks. I actually really do. We love the clips, man. All right, next one. You guys tell me if this is a real or a fake headline. Woman in relationship with toy plane. Woman in relationship with toy plane. I can't tell if I think this story would be better if it was relationship with real plane or toy plane. Woman in relationship with toy plane is what, what, what I wrote down on this paper. The Simpsons predicted that. That's crazy. Real. Oh, Josh with a real. Queen with a real. Javik with a real. Wow, everybody thinks this, there's a real woman out there in love with a plane, huh? You know what that tells me? This world's fucked up, dude. <laughs> Yeah, that, that tracks. I mean, yeah, that lines up 100%. That lines up. Yeah, for up. sure. That lines up. I, I know her. That, yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. That's oh, girl. oh, you mean Teresa? Oh, that girl from high school. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, she, was yeah, yeah. Really, she was always really into, like, the, my... Uh, what was the, the guy's name on Apex that you loved? It was, uh, like, was it Brad from high school or something? Oh, yeah, Todd from high school. Todd yeah, from yeah, high school. Yeah, yeah, Todd from high school, yeah. Oh, yeah, Todd from high school, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, she was, uh, he was really into, like, uh, model trains for a real long time. That sounds about real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody was real, and you guys are right. That is a real story. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to cut to this. Uh, woman in a relationship with Toy Plane says he's the best partner she's ever had. I'm going to go ahead and give you some uh, real details from this story because we, we're not going to spend too much time on it because it's very strange. She said that she has been in love. She loves uh, Plane. She's loved them her whole life. Uh, she was dating a man <coughs> and left the guy for a plane. This is all a true story. She left a guy for a plane, a toy plane. <laughs> I'm and, t- sorry. And she sidebar. Says, well, sidebar. This guy yes. has to go to his friend. Oh my god. <laughs> and say to him, what oh happened? Oh my god. So so why didn't it work out? Uh, she left me. Oh, uh, another guy? She dating somebody else? No, no, another guy. Another girl? No, 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 another no, girl. No, no. What what's she dating, dude? Uh she's really into toy planes. <laughs> what do you mean by that? I mean she's like dating a toy plane. Man, dude, you must you must really fuck it up, dude. <laughs> You, that was the bar. That was the bar. You couldn't you couldn't hold up to a toy plane, man. Damn, dude, you're gonna have to step your game up. So she said that every morning she wakes up and kisses it and talks to it. Uh, they do have sex. I did want to put that detail in there. I don't care if it's graphic. She did say that. She said legitimately she has sex with this toy, uh, and that she said this uh, nobody's ever treated her as well as this toy plane. Yeah, he never leaves during the night. Wakes and they up love to it. 
That is very true. That well, squirrel, you are you already beat me to it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's so weird, so real. I dude, it's all very real. All right, we're gonna go back to the next story. Like I said, it made me laugh. I had to give it to you. All right, you guys, tell me this whether this is real or this is a fake headline. Uh, let's see. Do I go real or do I go fake? Let's see here. Mmm, kind of torn, torn, torn. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> couple catches backlash whoa bag log got in my brain there couple catches backlash for civil war themed gender reveal couple catches backlash for civil war themed gender reveal is that real or is that fake uh that's the weirdest part <laughs> were they playing the south and the north do a podcast about people with strange addictions? Done, dude. We'll definitely do that. Uh, we will definitely do that. Couple catches backlash for Civil War themed gender reveal. Uh, Havoc, apparently you and Marks, bro. Apparently you and Marks are in on this. Uh, you guys can sword fight if you have a second. So we got two reels and two fakes. You know what that tells me, though? These stories are so weird that people can't tell the difference. Yeah. That's, the world is so weird. The world is no, right. The world is so weird that people can't tell the difference. All right, so we are legit split down the middle with three and three. I like that. That makes me happy. Because it's fake. The whole thing's made up. I made it up. I'm sorry, chat. Uh, the whole thing's made up. There's no gender reveal with a Civil War theme. However. Yet. Right. However. Yet. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Copyright it. Copyright. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, right. It hasn't done yet, but I'm yeah, I'm sure thinking a cannon fire at the end. 100% needs a cannon fire. And, right, I think, like, the maybe the bride and groom maybe have a sword fight or something. Yeah. Like, yeah that'd be great. Ram a thorn with the subscription. Uh, your face gave it away. Well, apparently not, Josh. We're split down the middle. Yo, Ram a thorn with the tier one. Let's go. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Ram a thorn. That's snug. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Ram a thorn. For here since day one. All right, next one. Here we go. Real or fake, chat? Tighten up. Gas station robbery stopped by man in gorilla suit. Gas station robbery stopped by man in gorilla suit. Yo, what's up, Remy? Sword fight train. Let's go, baby. True Mamba, welcome back. Gas station robbery stopped by man in gorilla suit. We snuggin'. We're doing real or fake, Remy, if you want to jump in while you're at work. <laughs> True Florida. <laughs> True Florida. <laughs> uh, we didn't specify that you had to give us a location, but you're more than welcome to. Uh, fantastic. So we got, we got true, we got true, we got real, we got true Florida. Fantastic. The true Florida answer is really funny to me. Uh, all right. We're going to go ahead and let you know that it's fake. Sorry, I made that one up too. Sorry. Fake as fuck. Give it to me, Marks. Let's go. Marks is the only fake one. It is 100% fake. All right, next one. We have so many to go through. I'm just trying to keep you guys on your toes. Here we go. Uh, Alabama school donates missile launcher. Alabama school donates missile launcher. True or fake? Yeah, that's a weird one. It could be either one. We don't know. It is Alabama. Now, if that said Connecticut school. Then you'd be like, why are they giving them syrup? <laughs> yeah, where's the syrup? Where's the syrup, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes. Alabama school donates missile launcher. Fake, fake, true, true, real. Fake as what? what? It's Alabama. Fake as fuck. I'm going to say true, real. And most of you guys will be right. That is actually a true story. <laughs> Let's cut to it here. Lamb's going to cut to it for you guys. Alabama school donates missile launcher to Veterans Museum. Lamb, go ahead and drop what happened. This, the, the, the details are actually... I thought it was going to be less weird with details, right? I thought it was going to be yeah, like, like, oh, that makes that tracks, right? That tracks. This, I think the details are actually weirder. To be no, honest apparently with you. in Athens, Alabama, the MNGM fifty two Lance missile, which was capable of delivering nuclear and conventional weapons before it was deactivated, was donated in the seventies to the school's ROTC program. <laughs> So they had a nuclear missile launcher in the back of the school. In the front. They in the kept, front. Oh, they, the had front. It, they had it on display in the right. front of this high school. Right, check out our missile launcher. Yeah, what about the gymnasium? That's shit, but we have a nuclear <laughs> missile launcher sitting in the parking lot. Yeah, they decorated it at the holidays, put lights on it. Uh, and the equipment now is being given to the Alabama's Veterans Museum for restoration. So they said, yo, can we borrow it so we can fix it up? They said, yeah, we got you, bro. Uh... uh 
Uh, that's insane to me. That's really great. Uh, okay, so let's go. Uh, so you're driving down the road. You're going to make a left at the big oak tree, follow it down. When you see the giant nuclear missile launcher, you're at the high school, turn into the parking lot. <laughs> I like the fact we have one set of 100%. I like the fact that we have somebody from Alabama that confirms this is true. They definitely do shit like yep, this. Yep, seen it. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, they said it was donated in the 70s. That's where I, we said that. Uh, so in the 70s, somebody donated this, brother. Uh, Who donated it initially? Right, I, 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 right. Somebody donated this to the school and said, hey, when you want to put this out front, it's an old nuclear missile launcher. They were like, yeah, yeah, that sounds dope. Uh, kids will love it. Uh, however, when you were a kid, all you wanted was to shoot a gun, right? Like, so I get it. I got to read this line. Athens High School JROTC cadets spent many days and nights huddled around the launcher during training, socializing, or simply waiting for rides home. So when you were to say, yo, mom, can you pick me up from school? I'll I'm be at the launcher. I'm sitting on the missile launcher. No doubt, no doubt. Uh, that's just an unbelievable story. That's just so crazy. All right, next one. You guys tell me whether this headline is real or fake. I always got to take a breath, you know, so we can't, people can't tell. <laughs> Unique New York. Uh, Hollywood actor catfished by his dad. Hollywood actor catfished by his dad. Is that story true or fake? School run by his brother and sister. They were, they were also dating. Interesting. interesting. <laughs> Some West Virginia, Alabama jokes. Like it, like it, like it. Free rides on the missile launcher for everybody. Everybody outside. All right, so you guys tell me this is a story. True or fake? Hollywood actor catfished by his dad. Is that a real story? Is that a fake story? Is it real or is it fake? No, it's not Nicolas Cage, Paul. Thank you, though. <laughs> wow, this world is so messed up. We got five straight reels on somebody catfished by his own dad. People are so... 100%. Yeah, I, I've watched catfish. People 100%. are catfished by everybody. Wow, 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 wow. No, no it's not Ron Jeremy. <laughs> What? That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> chat is literally... We're, you guys are getting the out of chaos control. That is the the, the chat is So we got one, two, three, four, five, six... Six trues. And you know what, chat? This is your first sweep. Seven. Eight, Seven. I don't nine, know, honestly. That's ten. Just, it's your first sweep. You guys got it right. It is real. Uh, Lamb's going to cut you over. The Hollywood actor was catfished by his dad posing as a hot girl. This is a 100% true story. And Homeboy decided since he was an actor anyway, he was going to make a movie out of it. Now, apparently, it caused him trauma at first. But then, but, but then apparently, so the story is, him and his dad were, I don't know if estranged is the right word, but they were not yeah, getting along. Yeah, they, they weren't the best. They weren't, they weren't close. So his dad... Now, and I don't know how much this is the movie or how much this is real, but apparently the story was the dad went into a restaurant, saw an attractive girl, uh, found her Facebook, ripped off her pictures, started a profile, messaged his kid in that way or something like that, and then they started talking, and he thought this would be a nice way for him to at least have communication with his son. <laughs> and then things, I guess, got weird, right? So it kind of turned like kind of flirty hey. and sexual, right, as they as would, would, as it would. Uh, then at some point the dad revealed that it was him and that it's not a real girl. And apparently they became much closer because of it. So, uh, there's a lot of interest in chats about things that this guy found interesting. Yeah. He was able to talk to his son about things that I guess he wasn't normally able to. That's true, Lamb. What's the moral to the story though? Talk to your kids. Talk man. to your kids. Hey, that's right. Uh... I don't know. I look. I this would. I think this would bother most people in a very, very weird way. Uh, I think up until the flirty conversation, there's not that much weird. I don't know. If that's if that's weird for me to say, but uh, like the idea that he could maybe make a fake profile of someone that wanted to be friends with this person, right, and then have conversations, right. I don't. I think it's weird, but I could get it. Yeah. I think it's interesting that the dad wanted to go this way instead of just like, hey, do you want to like go on a round of golf or like buy you a steak dinner? Yeah. I think this is a really odd way to go about it. <laughs> it's uh, one of my favorite Bill Burr bits when you're talking about <laughs> sorry. playing catch with your kids. Yeah. Like nobody plays catch with their kids anymore. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you just talk about things. You throw the ball, you talk about things, and you just work things out. That's true. That's, that's, that's all dad, it's all being yeah. a dad is, right? I'm just wondering who sent the first wiener pick. Agreed. That Whoever sent it is the one that's wildly out of bounds. Okay. <laughs> that's uh, all we know. All right. All right. Here we go, guys. Uh Real or fake? Real or fake headline? Uh, we have two left. Okay? Two left. Missing grandfather found after six months living in family's attic. Missing grandfather found after six months 
living in the family's attic. That is the headline. Missing grandfather found over six months living in family's attic. 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 Struggling with that word? I don't know why. Attic. There's like a thing where if you say like a word too many times, it starts to sound weird. It's it's definitely sounding weird in my brain. Real. Horrifying. True. Uh, Real Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. (laughs) Grandpa's got some issues. Mark says fake. Mom bot said no way. Get the hell out of Dodge. Do I still have that sound effect? Yeah, I can't imagine I do. No way I do. <laughs> not once, not never. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna play that again. Sorry. If anybody can have any if anybody can tell me what this sound effect is from, probably beside Ramathorn, I'd be really impressed. Not once, not never. Uh fake, they wouldn't survive. Real, real. I promise ain't no grandma gonna be quiet enough to have to notice. Kid thought it was Santa. True, Inspector Gadget. No, not. So, uh, plenty of guesses are thrown out there. Let me cut back to the soundboard so I can let you know it's fake. Mr. Oh, my God. Backlog. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mr. Balloon Hands. Yeah, right. No way. Uh, this is a fake story. I made it up. Okay, so and without the further ado, you already know there's one left, so I'm just going to tell you the last headline is... Polish man lost inside airport for 18 days. That is the last headline. Uh, however, I agree. Bramathorne was talking about those people living in people's attics. I mean, I'm not saying, he, like, obviously the family leaves. He could come down and get something, right? Yeah. I just kind of stole that idea from the movie uh, Parasite. Parasite, which is a wonderful movie if you haven't seen it. It did win an Oscar, so stop slacking people. Get to, get out there and watch a decent film. Just because it's got subtitles, stop being lazy. Uh Right, I did kind of give it away. <laughs> I did kind of give it away and let you know this is the last one. So obviously, this is a true story. Lamb cut to it. For you. <laughs> snakes on a plane. Not true. All right. <laughs> I mean, snakes get on planes. That's true. True, true, true. It is very, very real. This is a true story. This is not a real picture. This is Tom Hanks from the movie Terminal. That is Tom Hanks. Not a real picture. Uh, but the story is a 44-year-old Polish man uh, was in... Uh, Sao Paulo. Oh, Sao Paulo is okay. Here we go. Uh, for 18 days. They said he <laughs> went there and he was supposed to meet somebody. Apparently waited days for this person. They never showed up. Uh, then he became legitimately not sure where he should go next. Then he started talking to customs. I, Lamb, catch me if I'm missing anything. So here. he has no money somehow. So the person he's supposed to meet was supposed to, I guess, give him a place to live or a job or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he had didn't speak any Portuguese, mm-hmm. which is what they speak in Brazil. Mm-hmm. So that could be problematic. So apparently the concerned airport cleaners event started to notice him and they started bringing him, I love the last part of this, they started bringing him daily servings of water, yogurt, and cigarettes. Uh, And uh, so they also gave him two empty bottles of vodka and an improvised toilet for him to pee in. I love the fact that their concern was cigarettes. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. This guy needs some cigarettes. He needs some cigarettes. Uh, So yeah, we thought that story was great. Okay. Um... I do a story every single week, and I think we should end on this story. Is that cool with you? Works for me. Okay. We've been rolling. We have been rolling. I didn't realize how long we've been going. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give you all a story that I like to talk about every week. we got to have at least do one story that is Petty Story of the Week. we got to do guys Petty Story of the Week. Um, this story at first does not seem petty. No, it doesn't. It actually seems just weird. This seems weird at first. Uh, but there is a very, very, very petty aspect to said story. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut to the story. The story is an Aussie bloke. Love the word that they use, bloke. Uh, love the fact they use bloke. Aussie bloke reveals that he is a professional funeral crasher. Sequel to Wedding Crash. <laughs> hey, not, that's, I mean, that probably would be what it was. But uh, he is a professional funeral crasher. So... Uh, he has coined himself the Coffin Confessor. Uh, he is a per- private investigator who has worked closely with clients who are on their deathbed. Lamb, you should say something? Oh, okay. Um, so, here's what happens. At, right, I mean, you can just read that up on the screen. Often at times in the line of work, the clients are discovering some pretty damning news that they didn't quite have the strength to address or call out right when they're on their deathbed. Okay? Um... Yeah, Will Ferrell did it, right? He said, he said right. Aphrodisiac, he said. Uh, so let's scroll down here. Um, so this is where Bill comes in. The crux of the job description was revealed. Uh, Bill is entrusted to crash a deceased funeral and reveal a secret 
that they had while they were alive. He might rock up their funeral or wake up or even during the reading of the will. So he might just start blurting shit out. So if you see Bill, just be prepared for something. Stay close to yeah, him. He's the, something's about to drop. He's the he's celebrity about to drop that, some bombs. Yeah. Uh, so so he at some point just might start just screeching uh, something out that that dead person wanted to say. He said that his first client was Graham. He was a gentleman that I had been investigating for. Said he had cancer. Got close to him. We got to talking about death and the afterlife. Uh, he said I suggested to him they do his own eulogy. He said he'd been to plenty of funerals where eulogies just aren't shown out of disrespect for the family. He said so I suggested I crash the funeral for him. Uh, scroll down. Uh, this is where it gets a little detail. He says he wanted me to out. This is what so the dead guy said I want you to out my best mate for trying to sleep with my wife while he was on it while while I was on my deathbed. He also. <laughs> This is my favorite part of the story. Yeah. He also asked if I could, he could remove three people from the congregation that he hadn't seen in 30 years. Slackers. Slackers and lackers. So, my man is the coffin confessor. So, this, so now what he does is he goes to funerals and he will let somebody know either a dirty secret about themselves or he will out somebody in the the audience. Oh, you thought you got away with it? You thought you got away with it? No, dickhead. Uh, the dead Graham guy, told me. Graham told me that he wanted you to know that he knew you were trying to sleep with his wife and that he wants you escorted out of here immediately. And everybody goes... <laughs> and grab those three other congregation yeah. members because they haven't been coming right. to church. He goes, <gasps> and then he points over and he says, you three, two, you're out as well. He starts chucking schmucks out of the <laughs> wedding. I am... This might be the weirdest job we've ever covered and it's the most petty thing I've ever heard. You're about to go down. You're about to take the great long sleep. And you say, you know what? I don't want, I don't want Tom's petty ass at my funeral. If he's there, I want you to drag his ass out of there, yeah. bro. Uh, I agree, Havoc. He's probably, he's probably, you know, he's probably getting all the ladies there. Uh, let me ask you this. Is it too petty? No. I like it, dude. I like it. He said most of the, most of it is because people would want to punch somebody but don't have the strength on their deathbed. So they want to, like, have, like, a last. That's unbelievable that on their deathbed, people's last thing is, like, I want to strike somebody. I want to punch somebody before I go out. You would think it'd be like, man, all these beautiful things in my life. It's like, no, no, no. I want to to uppercut somebody. Shadow, I think it's hilarious, bro. I think it's hilarious. It's like, man. Do you have anything in mind? For me? Yeah, that you Who I would do? No, I don't have anybody that I would, like, uh, vehemently I would have revenge on right now. But... If somebody, I, the only thing I relate to is if somebody was going to show up at my funeral that I vehemently, that like d- deep down, I was like, that person was actually kind of shitty to me forever. I would love for them to be yeah. like, hey, they wanted to escort you out. But I would just ask a close friend to do that. I wouldn't hire some schmuck. No, I'm hiring a dude. In like has a black nothing, suit? Yeah. Okay. All right. Earpiece. Um, um, Steven? <laughs> Steven? Steven. Steven. Okay. Uh, Steven, uh, you're on the list for asshole. Uh-huh. <laughs> You have been uh, deemed the worst person here. Uh, we'd like it. And then they would take out like an, a megaphone and announce, Stephen, it was actually not invited to yeah. this funeral, yes. specifically due to these factors. Anybody that's around Stephen can go ahead and just go ahead and grab his arms and go ahead and bum rush him right out the door. Let him, let him know that he doesn't get to uh, 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 yeah. wash this away. What's petty about it when you're already dead? I mean, what's petty about it is you're not celebrating your life. You're more worried about the one person or two people. Or three one people. up in this guy. Yeah, like the, the, the sticking it to one person. I don't know. I thought I the love pet- it. I love the pettiness. It really did make me laugh. I loved how this guy took it way too far. Um, without well, with that guy, I will say loved it. Love, yeah. love, great podcast, man. I really, really had a great time. I hope you guys enjoyed the snug stories. I hope you guys enjoyed the quiz. I hope you guys enjoyed the little real or fake with the headlines. Uh, thank you guys for sitting through. Uh, we have 15, 16 people in here. Shout out to you guys. Uh, you guys. Shout honestly, out to us for getting this thing back on the yeah, shout out to us back going. Getting it back. Uh, we do spend some time on this. Uh, shout out to you guys for being funny today, man. Honestly, I, I say this at the beginning of every. Uh, I say this at the beginning of every podcast because I mean it. Um, you guys make it funny, man. You guys really do bring a, a, an element of humor that. To be honest with you, me and Lamb didn't exactly foresee when we first started doing this. It wasn't something that, like, yeah, that's fine. Uh, it wasn't something that we saw uh, happening. We, we just, 
Uh, I don't know, maybe not. I don't. You, uh, yeah, as you keep scrolling. Uh, we didn't. We didn't know that the chat would be so important in these uh, streams, but they they legitimately have become very important. Uh, so I I just want to thank you guys for uh just I don't know just bringing the heat, man. Uh, I'll be back watching the regular next week. Let's go, Mama. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, how literally in the bullets to make sure I, 100% iron. That's hilarious. Just let them know, like, hey, as one of the one. Of, oh, side note, also, uh, you're a schmuck and you're not allowed. Um, <laughs> Bill uh, has a note for you. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so, like I said, I just wanted to um, say thank you guys for that. Really, really appreciate that. Uh, you guys, really, man. It's it's. It's, it's, it's a different vibe when you're doing something. Like, me and Lamb did a podcast before this where we would uh, talk privately and then we would upload it to Spotify. And that's cool. But having you guys to throw in the mix feels like it makes it, makes it feel much more live and much more entertaining. Um, anything jumping out at you? Nothing, huh? We want to raid out and try to introduce ourselves to a new community. And we are trying to find somebody that's not a loser. Which is not easy. Uh, Mom Bot, I'm super glad to have you back. We're going to raid, guys. You give it 10 seconds, and you guys can raid in there. Tell them Snug Stories was great. And then you guys can roll out. I think it's now it's in order of views. Uh-oh. I think the top was I think the top was uh, recommendations, and now we're in views. Okay. Uh, glad you had a good time. Uh, yeah, get them out of here. Um, uh, therapy Thursday. That's kind of an interesting guy. What's up with this guy? Certified therapist. Apex after. That's got to be our calling. This guy is a thir- certified therapist, and he's also going to play Apex after. So we are going to raid X Factor, X Factor Slash. If you guys want to give us 10 seconds and roll up in there and say, uh, all right, Ramathorn, thank you, Mimi. Thank you, Chronic. Thank you, Pete. Uh, if you guys have 10 seconds to roll up in there and show this guy some love, I would very much appreciate it. Um, space. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Uh, once again, thank you guys. We'll be back next Thursday, same time. We uh, do, I don't see any uh, issues happening for next week. We should be there. We should be ready to roll. Uh, if you guys have any stories, any weird news that you cover this week, anything you see, feel free to send it to me on Instagram or Discord. Uh, any alien stories, any videos you guys want me to cover, send it to me on uh, Instagram or Discord or Lamb uh, Instagram uh, at Snug Stories. Uh, anything you guys have, feel free to let me know. I, honestly, we're lo- always looking for stories. If you guys have